Veteran broadcast journalist June Keithley, a key figure in the 1986 EDSA People Power Revolution, has been laid to rest. Keithley, as host of Raja Bandido, urged Filipinos to join the revolt at EDSA that toppled the Marcos administration. We'll have the full story from Regine Rehensha. Seasoned broadcaster and the voice of People Power June Keithley Castro was finally laid to rest this morning after she succumbed to her four-year battle with breast cancer last November 24. Before this, a mass was celebrated at the APS-CBN chapel with her family and close friends in attendance. In a video, President Benigno Aquino expressed sadness over the death of Keith Lee, but thanked her for her contributions in fighting for the democracy in the country. Also at the Mass was Vice President Jeju Marbinay. According to him, no one can compare to the strength and faith in God showed by Keith Lee during her career and her battle with the disease. Everybody was emotional when the remains of June Keith Lee were brought to Loyola Memorial Park in Mariquita. It was apparent how the broadcaster touched the lives of her family, friends, and colleagues. And with the impact of both losing his parents, Diego Castro says the family plans to take a rest and unsure on how they will spend Christmas this year. I guess the wishes of parents is to take a break from the family. Because he was <laughs> daddy and then we would bury him. They wanted to be together, so we had to go through that. Tapos sakit pa ni mami and then bury him the house hospital and now she's gone. Diego is also at the loss on how to spend his birthday tomorrow. I don't know. Tomorrow is my birthday and then a lot of things happening, so I, I don't know how I'm, I'm going to celebrate anything. June's coffin was opened to be able to put the ashes of her husband. This also gave a chance for her family and friends to see June Keithley for one last time. With her contributions in attaining the country's democracy, she was given full military honors. And as flowers were offered and butterflies were released, her family and friends bid their final farewell to the lady who has given a lot to the country and was a fighter till the end. For the People's Television, this is Regine Rehensha.